Tonight, we share the story of a local family who, in mourning the passing of their mother, were comforted by a beautiful memory. Lola Maltzmacher survived five Holocaust concentration camps as a young woman. Her children say despite experiencing the worst in people, she went on to only give others her best. When she passed away in December at the age of 96, another family came forward to share their gratitude for Lola's love as well. Laura Queso shares the story of this lasting bond. Four siblings now with families of their own, but still connected by the love instilled by their parents. My parents were probably the most selfless people that we've ever, any of us have ever known. Family came first. The Maltzmacher kids say their parents were true inspirations. I'm the oldest of the four children and I was born in a displaced persons camp when my mother and father were liberated from concentration camp. Their parents, Lola and Maury Maltzmacher, Holocaust survivors. My mother is a woman who, who really believed in people. Amazing that she could put the torture that she endured behind her and be just a really wonderful, friendly person. Their mother, Lola, the driving force behind our meeting, she moved her family to Northeast Ohio and became a realtor, living out her American dream, one she'd eventually pass on to another mother. In 1996, a potential renter named May came to talk to Lola about renting space for a falafel restaurant. References, Lola did not need them. What she wanted was for this immigrant mother to succeed like she did. A story that made it into Lola's eulogy. They're immigrants to this country. They will do everything they can. To make this work and take care of their children. She knew because she had been exactly where they had been in life. A story Lola's daughter Sylvia also shared on Facebook after Lola passed away. The post received hundreds of comments. One of those comments were posted yesterday by Mr. Sir June Alasso, who writes, I am one of those children in this story. He then writes, thanks to your mother's kindness, I had a fortunate life. My family and I are forever grateful for her generosity. Two families bonded by their parents' dreams. So we decided to reunite them once again. This is awesome. <laughs> it is pretty cool. So I have to ask you, sir. So when you saw this Facebook post, what were you thinking? I, I just started crying. I was just like, I had to say something. It wasn't all for naught that she did this like extremely kind gesture and I need I need I need her survivors to know that something good came of it. Thankful for Lola's kindness, the catalyst that gave his mother opportunity. I think Lola saw in me because I came from Lebanon. I grew up on the Lebanese civil war. Uh, a lot of things I think we went to through most of the things like the same way she did and we're here to build a good uh, future for our kids. Two mothers bonded by the desire to provide for their children. The memory of that fateful encounter bringing comfort amid grief. Your comment just was so overwhelming to me and I so appreciated it. And a lasting bond between two families from different walks of life. I think the way that May treats her customers is like family and that's exactly what Lola saw in May and that's what's being perpetuated right here. One time Lola told me you have a target you will get there. I said that's what I'm working on. I, ne I need to get there. And she did. Laura Queso, 3 News. What an incredible lesson. Well, the Falafel Cafe has since moved from Cedar Road, and you can find May in its new location in University Circle. Oh, what a story.